the University of Glasgow's Formula Student Team requested the design and manufacture of a data logger for their Formula Student racing car. The device should connect to the car's main communication bus and receive sensor data pertaining to driver input and vehicle status. This data can be used to improve driver performance and validate future engineering design decisions. A custom data logger was designed and hand soldered on a four layer PCB manufactured by JLC. It featured an STM32H743VIT6 microcontroller with two integrated CAN FD controllers and external transceivers acting as the device's main communication interface, as well as a reserve RS485 transceiver. This provides backwards compatibility with CAN 2.0 the communication protocol currently used on the racing team's vehicle, whilst also providing future extensibility and meeting the 5 megabaud data rate detailed in the specification. The STM32 also features an integrated real-time clock, allowing incoming data to be timestamped before logging. On the back of the circuit board is a 4-bit SDIO communication interface with an onboard SD card, acting as the non-volatile data storage medium. There is also a Neo M9N GPS module providing positional data and an NRF24 radio transceiver allowing for telemetry and real-time monitoring of vehicle performance via a laptop at the side of the racetrack. The end user of this product is not necessarily an electrical engineer, thus one of the main design goals of the project was to make the system as user-friendly as possible. To achieve this, USB mass storage middleware was used to provide an easy means for data retrieval from the SD card and offering the ability to configure the device via configuration files hosted on the file system without having to edit the source code. A custom waterproof housing was designed to withstand the tough automotive environment. It features gaskets, O-rings and IP69K rated panel mount connectors including a micro USB meaning no disassembly is required to access the data after a test run. It was 3D printed from PLA plastic filament and includes threaded inserts for the fixings. The final product weighs in at 198 grams and will hopefully be on the racetrack in Silverstone this coming July. Hi, welcome to our TDP4 demo. Today we're going to be showing off the data logger that we designed for the Formula Student Team's race car. Um, so we're going to be showing off four things today. We've got uh, CAN FD logging to an SD card, GPS logging to an SD card, real-time telemetry, and also USB drive capabilities for data retrieval. Um, so we've got a bunch of equipment on the table. We've got a test board that we made. This is to simulate the car's CAN bus. We also have a radio receiver to receive the real-time telemetry data, and then we have our data logger. Um, and we've got a couple of connections here. One is a GPS antenna, which is going off to the window to get good reception. The other is just a little antenna to send the real-time telemetry data. So first things first, we can power on the data logger with 5 volts from a power bank. Um, there's a little LED on the PCB. Um, when we receive GPS signal, this will start flashing. And as soon as it does, we'll be logging GPS data to the SD card. So now, um, if we connect the CAN bus and power on the test board, we'll be receiving CAN data. And as you can see, this data is immediately streamed over the real-time telemetry to the laptop. Um, so we can let that build up in the SD card for a few seconds, and then we can unplug everything and have a look at the data. If we plug in our device over the USB to the laptop, it should open it just as if it was a USB drive. So we can mount and open it. And here you can see some of the test data from some of the tests we've done today. We can open test five and have a look at the data. And here we have GPS data at the start, which was before we plugged in the CAN bus. If I keep scrolling down, you can see now we have CAN data interspersed with GPS data. Um, the GPS data is the, in the NME format, which is a standard GPS format. The CAN data, uh, the first column is the date and time, the second column is the CAN ID, and then the third column is the data.